architects, light is one of the first things that we think about. Light and volume are the two really big things. Two of the projects, the Church of Light by today and uh, the Seagram Building by Mies van der Rohe. Really key uh, projects uh, in terms of the references for the building. Church of Light, really simple project, but really beautiful finishes in terms of uh, fair face concrete. And that's the real key for the, uh, for the atrium finishes that you see here. And it's often about seeing the light rather than the actual fittings. So it's working out clever ways of detailing the surrounding finishes so you can conceal a lot of the lighting but have really nice uh, lighting effects. When looking at the lighting, um, the lighting design for the building, there are a number of, of issues to overcome. Uh, not least in this case that there isn't a, a suspended ceiling into which you can hide the cables. So the design here, using the Freeline Luminaire, um, had to accommodate all the power cabling for the entire run. So in some instances you've got runs 30, 40 metres long um, and they might be fed from one point. The Freeline Luminaire is a very efficient luminaire. We have a luminaire here that has uh, roughly a 50-50 direct, indirect component. A successful building in London will require the most energy efficient lighting that, that you can get today whilst being very mindful of a, of a good high quality lighting solution. The benefits that ZoomTable can bring to a project like this is uh, firstly an extensive knowledge um, of how to light spaces, um, a close working relationship with the architects so that we understand what they're trying to achieve, um, what's in the architect's mind and that the luminaire doesn't contradict that. We have a fantastic palette of luminaires to choose from um, and I think in this instance the, the choice of free line was, was made on the fact that it's a very simple structure so it doesn't clash with anything else within the building. Free line luminaire used in the building incorporates two, two lamps one lamp at 3,500 Kelvin and one lamp at 4,000 Kelvin, each being separately dimmed so you can have a dynamic lighting system. Uh, all too often, not enough attention is paid to the lighting within a building um, and the users are just subjected to a static lighting scene. Oh.